I just yelled out, has anyone got a torch? The dingo's got my baby. We just rushed out there in faith, but we didn't really think we'd find anything. And when we saw the police come and uh, we saw the uh, ranger, we were heartened a bit because there are more than 200 men out there fighting to save the life of that little kid. And well, it was, it was shocking, but we just held out some little hope. imagine what it would have been like to go through that it must have just been I don't even have the words for it it was just spoken about everywhere everybody knew about it everybody had an opinion and now looking back I just think that poor poor woman I just find that Azaria Chantal Loren Chamberlain a child then of nine weeks of age and formerly of Mount Isaac, Queensland, met her death when attacked by a wild dingo whilst asleep in her family's tent at the top camping area, Ayers Rock, shortly after 8 p.m. on the 17th of August, 1980. From the time that television cameras rolled onto our faces, I couldn't feel that her death had really occurred. I wasn't allowed to grieve her death. And it's only now, after six months, that this is now taking place in my life. The prosecution says that here, Lindy Chamberlain cut the throat of her baby and husband Michael helped cover up the homicide. The defence says it wasn't murder. A dingo was seen lurking around the Chamberlain's tent only minutes before Azaria Chamberlain disappeared. The uh, light from the barbecue was shining on the upper half of the tent. I could only see the dingo from sort of the top of the shoulders up. And he came out in such a hurry, I thought just might have damaged or mauled the baby. The way it captured everyone's imagination and the way those poor people were sort of, you know, convicted by public opinion really, it's sort of, um, it's another Australia. I thought she was guilty as hell. Did you? Yeah, I did. I'm glad I was wrong. And I was 100% like, yeah, she's guilty. That's how ill-informed I was. <laughs> Mr Ian Barker QC for the prosecution said that the Chamberlain's dingo story was a preposterous and transparent lie. He said that if the story was true, then the dingo must have been very dexterous and tidy. It had taken the baby out of the bassinet and then taken it out of the jumpsuit, leaving behind the singlet and booties inside the jumpsuit. This is an historic trial for the reason that these people have been convicted on entirely circumstantial evidence. There was a chain of events which the jury has decided uh, put a knife in Lindy Chamberlain's hand with which she cut her baby's throat. No eyewitnesses, no confessions, snippets of scientific information which they've put together and have convinced them that she was guilty beyond reasonable doubt. That's a first in this country. Lindy Chamberlain has identified a baby's matinee jacket found near Ayers Rock on Sunday as the one worn by her daughter, Azaria, on the night she disappeared. The development could lead to Mrs Chamberlain's murder case being reopened. Professor Plu Khan told reporters today that the label found on Tuesday carried the brand name Marquis, the brand of the jacket Mrs Chamberlain testified Azaria was wearing at the time of her disappearance. The professor believes the discovery of the jacket and the apparently new credibility of Lindy Chamberlain's evidence implied by the finding of the label is very significant. The news of Lindy Chamberlain's release was announced today by the Northern Territory Attorney General, Marshall Perron, who said Mrs Chamberlain would remain free despite any finding of an inquiry set up to examine new evidence found this week at Ayers Rock. Mrs Chamberlain left the prison at a quarter to four this afternoon. For her, it's the end to the life sentence she was serving for murdering baby Azaria in August 1980. The Chamberlains have always maintained, though, that Azaria was taken by a dingo. 
Lindy and Michael Chamberlain walked into the same courthouse where they stood trial for the murder of their baby daughter for the last time today. Justices Ash, Nader and Carney found the original trial is now attended with sufficient doubt to justify this court in quashing the convictions. It scares me that back in the 80s, how we could have got things wrong like that. But be so sure about it. Really fascinating and embarrassing time in our history, I think, as a culture, as, as a country. Just one of those times when Australia is a very small, tiny place and we don't like otherness and we just look at it and we're suspicious and yeah, we put people in the stocks.